Hello, and welcome to A Head Full of Tales. Now today's story is an Aesop fable, and it's uh, called The Miller, His Son, and the Donkey. Now, there was once a old miller, a young son, and their donkey. Arr, for the miller. It's about time we sold that donkey, don't you, boy? Yeah, Dad, we don't need it no more, do we? No, let's take it to market. So off they went. Right, come on then, you old donkey. Follow me, said the miller. Go ahead, boy, you walk on. And the miller walked the donkey down the road to market. Now on the way, by a river, two girls were washing their clothes. And they saw the miller and the, the young boy walk in the market, dragging a donkey. Come on, you silly old donkey. <laughs> said the girls. Oh, how funny, walking the donkey when they could be riding it. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Oh, thought the miller. That's not a bad point. Uh, come here, boy. And he called his son over and he lifted him up and he pop it, popped him on the donkey and then started to carry on walking. Now, come on then, donkey. How are you doing up there, boy? All right, Dad. And all went well for quite a while. Until later on on the road, there were two men playing chess. I'm telling you, the youth of the day just don't care about us old folk. Look, there's a perfect example, said the old man. Look at that boy there riding that donkey while his old man is pulling him along, pulling the donkey along. Not right, that. Not right. You should be disgusted, young boy, sort of riding that donkey when making your father walk. Yeah, you should. Well, thought the miller. Oh, yeah, I, I don't want people to call my son names. Uh, come down, boy. Uh, you walk behind the donkey and I'll ride the donkey to market. That makes sense. So, basically, the miller got on the donkey and started to ride. And the boy, whose legs were a little bit smaller than the donkey's, uh, had to run a little bit. Oh, Dad, Dad, don't run. You're riding too fast. I'll slow down a little bit. But ever slow the man rid on the donkey, the donkey still moved faster than the boy could walk and he had to start running. Now, they didn't get very far when some mothers and their children were just sort of walking the other direction along the road when they saw the old man and the boy chasing the, being chased by the boy and they went, Oi, you lazy old man, that boy looks tired out. You both, he should be riding the donkey, not you. The old miller thought, what am I going to get out of this? So he picked up the boy and he put him on the back of the donkey. So they were both riding the donkey to the market. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. And the donkey was getting slower and slower. He was getting a bit tired and the miller was just giving him a little, come on donkey, we're nearly there. And just before they got there, Another man said, <laughs> Donkey, it looks like he's going to collapse. He does under your weight. You'd be better off carrying him. Oh, thought the miller, maybe you're right. So the miller got off the donkey and he put the donkey on his shoulders and he got the boy to help him push him up. And they, and they started carrying the donkey to market. And every now and again, the boy would keep the, push the donkey back up onto his father's shoulders. Cool, cool. And when they got to market, the miller was just about to put the donkey down and everybody was laughing. <laughs> He's carried the donkey all the way to market. Who wants to buy a donkey like that? They were laughing at him. And the miller, full of sweat, oh, didn't notice that the donkey was starting to shift. Oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't like the noise at all of all the body laughing, people screaming and pointing at it. And it jumped off the old man, kicked up its heels and was off. Now the old man sat in the middle of that floor, in the middle of that marketplace, scratching his head. Do you know what? I've tried to please everybody today, son, and it just hasn't worked. You can't please everybody at the same time, boy. So you just got to do what's right. And from now on, that's what we'll do. Have a lovely day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, 
Don't forget to subscribe to A Head Full of Tales on YouTube. See you later. Bye-bye.